for yet? No. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's all unusual because I've not done Washington done State tackle Joe Dahl, uh, table two. Washington so. State tackle Joe Dahl, table two. You measured in as the, the tallest offensive lineman here. What are, what are some of the pros and cons of, of being 6'7"? Um, you know, I'd say, I'd say one, I mean, the cons is just harder to get low. I mean, football's a game of leverage, and you're going to have to, you know, bend more to get lower, you know, have, you know, some more flexibility. Um, it's not something, you know, I think I've struggled with mightily. Um, and then at the same time, you know, generally you're going to have longer limbs. Um, so you can create more leverage and guys can get to your chest, get to your body. Um, so, you know, it's, it can be a good thing or a bad thing depending. Um, but I don't think it's something that's, you know, served me poorly in my career. There's some talk that you might move from left to right tackle. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, of, of course I, I would want to be a left tackle. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to play football. And I compete. Um, so if the team asks me to play another position, absolutely I would. Um, you know, because I want to be an asset to whatever team I, I get to. You think you're going to be six eight? You know you need uh, to. Last time I measured Ohio State, I was like six seven and six tenths. So I don't know what happens. You shrink on the three three hour drive over? Yeah, I was. I mean, we've been on, been on our feet a lot. Up, you know, up walking around. So maybe I depress my spine a little bit or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I've heard from you know some some guys I played with in college who you know moved on to the next level and had success that you know obviously you know the the style of play is a lot different, um, but also at the same time it, it's still football. Um, I think I think the biggest challenge is probably going to be um, you know though I did play some really good players in college, you know I'm going to see the best players I'm ever going to see every single week. Um, so there's no room for error. You can't have an off game or you know, a couple of bad plays because as an offensive lineman, a couple of bad plays means a bad game. Um, so you got to be consistent. And you know, playing against high-level players who can execute at a high caliber um, is going to be challenging. Who was the best uh, lineman you've played against? And if you're going to say Bosa, who's the second line best lineman you played against? Yeah, I, I would either say it was, it was Joey um, or Khalil Mack um, my sophomore year. What did going against Bosa in practice every day? I and mean, how much did that aid your development over the years? I mean, that can't be understated. Um, getting to play against a guy like him um, and a guy like Noah Spence for two years, um, and even Adolphus Washington, you know, Michael Bennett, um, you know, like John Simon, John Hankins. I got to play against a lot of really good guys, uh, more than I ever would have saw reps in the game against somebody like that. Um, so, you know, Joey's an incredible player. He's really complete, plays the run really well, and he's strong. He's quick off the ball. He's good with his hands. He's just such a complete player. Um, at least from my perspective. Um, so if you do something wrong, he's going to figure out what it is and expose you. Um, so you know, going back to the executing at a high level and being consistent, you know, it helped me with that. He made me a lot, a lot better player. You mentioned Noah Spence. Obviously, he had some tough times. What do you think of him being a potential first round pick? What, what, you, what was your experience going into the practice? I mean, Noah's definitely different from from Joey. Um, I mean, obviously, they're both great pass rushers, but you know. I think Noah is just pure speed. He can run for days. Um, even in team runs, you know, when you're back in school, you know, it was like it was just easy for him. He'd run with the linebackers and he'd be beating them. Um, so he's just he's just really really quick off the ball and he's got a really high motor. Um, and I'm I'm just happy to see that he was able to kind of turn things around because I know you know he was going through some dark times. Um, you know, and I like him as a person. I've always gotten along with him. Um, so you know, it's, it's cool to see it's cool to see a guy that. You know, had every reason to fail, um, but didn't use, the, use one of them as an excuse.